Once in a while, it's kind of fun to kick the tires of a car that you or I could never <laughs> afford. That's what we do this week with Harvey Briggs. We go behind the wheel of a 2021 Lexus LC 500 convertible. Back on November 17th, 2017, we aired our first behind the wheel segment. We test drove the Lexus LC 500 coupe. It was a blast, just about perfect. Well, guess what? They chopped the top off of it for 2021. Behold, the Lexus LC 500 convertible. This is almost identical from a mechanical standpoint. Same engine, same transmission, but what you have is a lot of subtle changes so you can cut the top off. You have to make it more rigid. So they've added a lot of bracing, changed some things underneath. They've changed the whole rear suspension, put a stronger aluminum brace on that. Because when you cut a car open like this, you take a huge piece of structural uh, element off the car and it could start to do this. But this car doesn't do that, but it does do this. It also does this. So you've got this fun little hidden compartment here. Flip it up and know that's not an ejector seat. <laughs> it is the top mechanism and it does its little dance. That little dance takes 15 seconds and you can even open or close the roof while going up to 30 miles an hour. And the interior is as elegant as the outside of the car. This interior, when it came out, was highly praised as one of the best, as long as you don't sit back there. Is, I was going to say, there's a back seat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. No, it's, uh, it's for groceries, small dogs, and briefcases. Just because. V8? V8, 5 liter, naturally aspirated, 471 horsepower, 398 pound feet of torque. And then there's that exhaust. Harvey says this is not a track car, not even a sports car. It's a grand touring car. It really does a nice job of striking that balance that if you're going to spend this much money for a car, it's a car you can drive every day, commute to work in it. You know, you'll get 25 miles to a gallon if you set it in eco mode. And it won't be crazy loud. But then head out on the weekend, find your favorite winding road like this one, click up into Sport Plus mode, um, you know, and then stab the throttle. That is the face of a happy auto journalist. Another thing I like about this car is the Mark Levinson audio. Uh, you can crank this up, um, you know, with the top down, you need it a little louder. And, and you can crank it up and the kinks are clear as day. Now, before you rush to your Lexus dealer to grab one of these convertibles, you should know it was supposed to be on sale this summer, but because of coronavirus, production's been delayed. So we're thinking late summer, early fall, uh, the LC 500 convertible will be available. All right, Harvey. Looks like you had fun, my friend. <laughs> Harvey Briggs joining us now. Let's get it out of the way. The price. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Oh, uh, you can't hear us. Uh, there we go. Now you're back. Sorry. All right, let's let's rip the band-aid off. <laughs> What's the price? <laughs> it starts at one hundred and one thousand dollars. Wow! And, and that car, as it was equipped, was one hundred and eleven thousand dollars, and it included the climate concierge system, which automatically adjusts everything from the heated and cooled seats to the air conditioning if you just set it to the right temperature. And it, it also adjusts itself when the top is open and closed to optimize that. And it had neck warmers? <laughs> That's right. Up on the back of those seats, there were little vents for neck warmers. So when you're driving in cold Wisconsin weather with the top down, you can be comfortable. <laughs> Oh, we can dream, can't we? Yeah, I mean, it's, obviously this is not a car for practically everyone, but it's, <laughs> and it's probably the second or third or fourth car in the garage. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is not uh, your your daily driver as much as I would love it to be. <laughs> oh, it sure looks like fun. Yeah, it is fun to dream, and hopefully it'll be on sale when? Uh, I haven't heard a specific date yet, but I would, I would 
Start calling your Lexus dealer now if you <laughs> must have one of these. Get in line, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. All right, Harry, great to see you. They won't be making many of them. No. All right. We'll see you next time. Great. Thanks, guys. Great to see you, Harvey. Go to ridesanddrives.com for more on this car and all the cars that Harvey's driven. And we'll be right back with a final check of your forecast.